Hi, I am Alex from Law Origin <laughs> and I'm with Ty oh. Jeffries off of the Upside Down Australia. Um, Ty, who are you, why are you, what you do, drifting? <laughs> when did you get into this uh, and why? I'm Ty Jeffries from the Oak Tree Outlaws. <laughs> This is weird because we've I've been on camera with you guys heaps of times. Know, it's yeah, nothing yeah. different. But yeah, I'm Ty Jeffries from the Oak Tree Outlaws. Uh, yeah, the, the Oak Tree Outlaws uh, are yeah. a team yeah. primarily based in Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. And you yeah, are yeah, yeah. the furthest most point. Yeah, yeah. Nowhere near like 43 hours from yeah. the boys. It takes me ages to get there. Um, but yeah, we're teammates. Uh, you drive a. Um, PS13. Yeah, you guys call it PSS13. A beautiful, beautiful PS13 <laughs> with Lambo doors. Pink boy. Yeah, I just copied you, really. Yeah. You, they you are thought, the same as what yours are. You thought how amazing boys. it would be to have shit doors, and you thought, <laughs> I want those I'd fucking doors. I'd love to never open my doors normally. They yeah, do I, open I, I normally, was, but. Yeah. I live with regret every time I get yeah, in and yeah. out of my car. Yep. Um, so how, how, this is a very big question. How did you get into drifting? And uh, I've always been into motorsport because my dad and like our side of the family is like real into speedway racing, like super mm. sedans and stuff like that. So I've always had an interest in cars, but it wasn't until I moved from, I used to compete for bodyboarding, like in the ocean, mm. like bodyboarding, you ride a bodyboard, like opposite to surfing, laying down, not standing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I moved to the Gold Coast, I hated how crowded the beaches were. And then I seen on Facebook, I was like kind of into cars. I seen on Facebook, there was like a Queensland Matsuri happening. And I was mm. like, fuck, that was pretty cool. Mm. So I drove all the way out to Queensland Raceway by myself, knew no one and was just hanging out. And it was the time where hit and run was massive. Like the hot boy style, like car styling in general was massive. It was yeah. like railed, sick wheels, uh, genuine wheels, good paint, Good fitment, and that was that was, was, and everyone was having a good time with their friends and drinking, yeah. and it just looked like a good thing to be a part of. And I was like, yeah. I wouldn't mind doing this. So I had a K11 Micra, sold Oof. that for three grand, brought my NA, my S13 that I have now, eight years ago for three grand. Damn. And then just slowly build it up from there, and then yeah. I've been drifting for six and a half years now. Mm. Not really that long compared to. Well, you and a lot of other people, but, yeah, yeah. but that was like, that's like a short story. I was always into cars from like my dad and yeah, yeah, that, yeah, but yeah. it was never you like. Find your, you, you find your, your yeah, niche. Yeah, it just looked like, I was like, that looks like a, that was something I just wanted to be a part yeah. of. Now, now this PS, like it's, I mean, a revelation before, all standard rear arms and shit like that. I yeah, just yeah, can't yeah. fathom how. It has camber arms in the back, but they've been arms. in there since I brought the car and they're so rusted you can't adjust them. Right, they're no, no and then adjustable. they're literally toe arms, uh, traction arms, whatever that. Are they whatever. stock? Yeah, they're all stock. They've got barcodes on them. I literally only did knuckles like in COVID. Like I literally, wow. well, okay. we have the same knuckles. Yeah, yeah, knuckles. yeah, yeah, yeah. Destroy or die. Yeah. Um, Moddy boys. So I just, I like, the first thing most of us do is we do the rear because yeah, yeah. we're like, oh, you gotta dial this in, dial that in. You've just been like, yeah. nah, just wind the coil over down and be done with it. Yeah, yeah, it took to help sick. spring out, wind it down until it was low enough. I don't care about rebound. Low or enough. Like that. Yeah, yeah. You fuck rebound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's low enough. Yeah. But yeah. The, that was like my roots of what I wanted my car to look like because when I went to like Matsuri, like I was saying, and then the next events that I went to were like Reckham, like Mez from Reckham, mm. they were like, everything was just railed on the ground, like super sick styled cars. And mm. then that's what I've always been about. Plus, even before we were friends, always like looked up to your car, Hertz car, Joel, good friend of mine from Gravy Garage. So that's why it's always, I will never raise it. That's fucking illegal. That's illegal. No one raises fucking drift cars unless you like nope. Cairns Ice style. E, 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 it's just, I think you find the thing that you enjoy about yeah, for your sure. car and then you try and keep it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's, there's compromises that you make, but like realistically, as long as you can step back and go, yeah, that still looks the way I need it to look. Yeah, yeah, for then sure. That's fine. But it's, it is tough. It is tough. Um, your car has changed two or three times since I've been aware of the car. I can see it on the Saul's car there. Oh yeah, um, that was a long time ago. That blue. was before Oak Tree. Yeah, yeah, that it was, was. It's actually not blue, it was painted just in purple glitter. Oh, okay. It looks like it was blue, but. In it was actually black, black base, 
violet crumble purple flake oh, okay. over the whole car so it looked like it was blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it had yeah. no paint on it at all. It was just all glitter. <laughs> just glitter. Yeah. <laughs> Shit loads of glitter. It was like beautiful. 13 layers of clear to make it look shiny because it was otherwise it'd be like matte. Or like some people. Yeah, well, it was it was that color. Yeah. And then after I met you guys when we first went to Next Level in 2018, yeah. My teammates were like, hey, you want to be a part of us? And I was like, fucking oath. He gave me like the opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, yeah. So I represent us over in Australia. So I had our OG livery and then I had a crash. Yeah. When Saul was over for halfway and Harley. So you had a crash. Do you mean Saul had a crash? Technically he crashed my car before I ever crashed it. But it wasn't that bad. Tell oh, Very understanding that, that of genuine, you. That uh, genuine brick just sitting in my bumper. Genuine triple layer car before I bonnet a bit fucked up but it was fine it was fine like it didn't matter because 20 minutes later my whole car was pushed into the fucking back window so what he did was very minor first lap first corner but but it's still funny that's still a joke you'll never live down come to australia bro drive my car you drive it i trust you i trust you fuck (laughs) fucking destroy the car um yeah okay because i the, the it was pink to purple yeah it well, was, we faded it in yeah, yeah. after that crash because we, when we did the paint, I couldn't remember what the base color was because we were pissed when we painted the car. Of course you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Australian things. Yeah. Just, and just then, Australian. yeah, so it was the fadey boy with the fluoro wheels, the fluoro yeah. livery, the fluoro little highlights. And yeah, then yeah, 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 yeah. We changed new livery, but I didn't want to change just the color. I wanted to change the kit, the wheels. Uh, what else did I do? I can't even remember. God, oh, the color. When did you do the tents? I mean, they, they... I've always had like the pink film yeah. on the car, but then we put the chrome behind it and it matched the same yeah, yeah, pink yeah. chrome as on livery. But mm. yeah, the latest look, I don't know how I'm going to beat that one, but I've already been thinking about <laughs> you it. You say this every fucking year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say the same thing. I know. It's, it, you, you sort of step back and you go, this is brilliant. Yeah. Where the fuck do we go from here? <laughs> um, but yeah. But that's okay. cool. It always like, it always keeps everybody on their toes. They're like, oh, yeah. what are they, what's he, he's gonna do something sick next. If he yeah. do, he's done it again. It's gonna be, it's gonna be shit. And you're like, oh God, yeah, that's where, you, that's where you know you've done something wrong. Yeah. Um, but I don't think like, the, the secret recipe to having a good looking car is low, genuine wheels, good fitment, good paint. It's yeah. a timeless look on no matter what kind of and car. And also it's like, you can tell when a livery is either done in a rush or it's, yeah. a, co- or it's a committee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's a committee of like, a load of guys together who are like, I don't like that bit, I don't like that bit, you need to change this, you need yeah. to, and then eventually the livery just looks really It also depends and... on like, I know this is getting like well off topic about, about myself, but it's the people you hang around with where you go, you could, you know, you could do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. hanging out with Zach Denman and the Street Carnage boys, because they have really good imaginations mm-hmm. on car styling, where Zach would be like, well, you should put like, you should do this and change this and yeah, give you yeah, other yeah, ideas yeah. and be like, I did not fucking think of that. That's a fantastic idea. Just brainstorming with other like-minded people, yep. like this same styling of cars. Yeah. You know, you're like, oh, I could do because, that next because time. Other things to consider here. I mean, we'll potentially put a picture on the screen of of, uh, of your car. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's stock metal. Yeah, yeah. Stock front and back. Stock body, yeah. Which is just unheard of anymore. Pretty much yeah. anywhere. Like yeah. whether you're in the UK or whatever, whatever. It's like stock bodied. Yeah. Stock metal. With yep. fitment, especially yep. fitment, uh, rear fitment, front fitment, uh, the way the way your car is. Need the front like... lower, but because I don't have, I still have stock tubs. It's like that far stock away from the Stock tubs as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I need them. I need tubs so I can bring the front down as much as the back. Yeah. But it's fine. It's fine. Well, do you, do you get problems where the wheels start actually catching the? Doesn't touch nothing. I painted. <laughs> I redid the. So when I did the new look, I painted both wheel arches fresh black. Yeah, to see. Just to make sure if it was going to sit there and rub. But when yeah. I took it to the servo to do the photos of Zach, come home, pulled them off, nothing. Wow. So I just leave it like that. It doesn't slow the car down or anything. It's like yeah, all our cars drag on the ground, but it looks better than fucking monster truck and over everything. Now, most important question is what engine is in your PS13? <laughs> God's motor, baby. God's motor. God's motor. Well, to be fair, I think anything is God's motor, as long as it's not a fucking V8 in the engine bay of a drift car. As long as you, you, you have... Any, we're, We've been over this <laughs> many lower origin videos and podcasts and that, it's just not exciting driving when it's sitting at four grand going, I, I think that's the thing. I Don't get me wrong. This to I, do four grand in this, it's going, right. It's yeah. like exciting to watch, listen to, yep. like as a spectator, as it's, a driver. It's screaming, smashing limiters. And yeah. I... Like when the big V8 
conversion, <laughs> as I'd like to call it, happened around about 2010, 2011, yeah. where seemingly like the entire BDC grid turned up with VAs. Yeah, and everyone was right, like, Australia. and it was fucking, I mean, some of them, don't get me wrong, that, that LSX of films, oh. When yeah, it has, yeah. nah, when it had, has, has, has had, yeah, yeah, before the good had heads, dramas. good head, yeah. when it had good heads, it <laughs> sounded, heads. it was like 800 NA brake horsepower. Yeah. And, and the fastest res- throttle response you've ever heard in yeah, your life. Yeah, it was like the, the, the most aggressive, yeah. scariest thing you've ever heard in your life. And in that instance, I'm like, okay. Yeah, rev is a rev, okay. so. Yeah, it's revy, yeah, it's revy. showy, it's It's scary. exciting driving, that's the thing. But then a lot of it is just like, yeah, it's full ground, it's low RPM, it almost looks like low effort. Low, low it's gonna sound terrible. Um, that uh, is, it is 100% low effort it's, driving. It's, it's when the, you, it's, it makes like just as much torque and... You require less commitment. Yeah. I know that sounds stupid, but like, if you're coming in screaming at like 7,000 RPM and it's smack, yeah. like, you're more, oh, I don't know. I, in my head, I feel like I yeah. have to be more committed than I would be if I was just late revving or something with loads of torque. <laughs> Plus, like, down, this is I, like, these, like, it's like I said before, like, we're just shit talking V8s now. Sorry. Car styling, this car styling is our roots, and the motors that we use are the, what we've used because it's what we knew when we yeah. started driving. Yeah, exactly that. I'm exactly. sure it'd be different now because everyone's getting into K motors and yeah, whatever else, but, yeah. oh, but, then, but then that's a completely different. Um, yeah, but it's just like the era where we come from, where I cut, like, where my Myself, like started mm. it was like it was like RB everything SR everything yeah. and then the, the LS thing was like a thing later on yeah but yeah, everyone yeah. still had road cars genuine wheels genuine everything yeah, yeah, yeah. fitment and then yeah now you say genuine wheels a lot because in, in the UK people are seemingly not asked about getting any old piece yeah. of shit that's uh, uh, either a copy or a rep nah. or, um, whereas there are entire events in Australia. Um, oh, yeah, where, thanks. Yep, yep. Where, like, if you turn up on reps, well, you don't. You, yeah. don't, you don't turn up on In reps. the application list for halfway hangs, you want to be a part of halfway hangs, and it says no fake wheels, like, as soon as you open up the entry page. And you list in it what wheels you have. And if you have, you do not get accepted with reps on your car at, or um, fake wheels yeah. at halfway hangs because they want the best of the best. Yeah. Which I do get, so, and number fucking 10 is And it's up. great, like, the all, it's weird, it's one of those events where every bit of media that yeah. comes out of Halfway Hands yeah, yeah. is like, fucking excellent. Yeah. Like, I can sit there and watch literally hours of, of It's the, like of the, the most photogenic out. place yeah. where it is too. It's like, literally right next to the beach, yeah. where like, around old school Australian like cabins, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's like, pools everywhere, where next to the, you can go swimming while you, you can swim, you can have your car at the car show here, mm. walk out of the car show straight on the beach, have a swim and come back to your car, walk past your In car. In my head, I'm like, you can be eaten by a shark here and yeah, be killed well, by a spider here. Yep, 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 that's definitely true. But you can literally swim at the beach, oh, my drift car's still sweet at the car show, walk into the bar, grab a beer, come back outside, music playing, sick cars are red sick. Yeah. That's the fucking dream right there. Yeah, it does. Yeah, like we're pretty lucky. That's definitely 100% like best drift event in yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah. Now, Especially 10 is coming up. Number fucking 10. 10? Yeah, Halfway Hangs 10 in February. Damn. 10 years. That's 10 years. Halfway Time Hangs has been around flies. longer than thought about. Um, now then, back onto, back yeah. onto your car. Yeah, yeah. Um, SR20. Yep. Um, is it same a, motor. Is, is it a built Everson- motor? Is no. it a, what is it? Is it is it's it s- the same motor I've had ever since I've started drifting. Stock, six and a half straight years. Straight cam, bank cam. Straight cam, or your straight, straight cam. cam. Uh, stock bottom end, metal head gasket, head studs, uh, Tomei 260 cams, Tomei valve springs, Tomei rocker stoppers. That's it, engine wise, that's it. Attached to a? HKS uh, 3037, E85, 1000cc injectors, Warbro 460 fuel pump, that's it. And then Super simple. If, if something breaks fuel related, it's one thing. It's got one pump, yeah. one fuel filter, four injectors, it's super simple. Yeah. And it runs, it's on 14 pound, 330 horsepower. It's been the same tune mm. ever since I've been driving. Mm. Mm. And it's never let me down. The only thing Consistency. is- Consistency. Yeah, well actually, well I've done a head gasket recently, but six and a half years on the same head it's gasket probably is due, ridiculous. It's probably due a head yeah. gasket. Um, now, transmission wise, you are, is it an RB? No, oh. Z32. Z32 gearbox? Yeah, it's Ooh. Nigel Petrie's, an engineer to slide uh, full everything. His shifter, the nice. gearbox, oh, it's obviously Z32, but like his adapter plate, mm. uh, his uh, 
Measurement clutch. Mm. That's Nigel Petrie. Everything is to the mill. Yeah. He's like the engineer daddy of Australia. We used to, we, I mean, I used to run a Z32, but we used to sell Z32 um, adapter plates. Oh, true. And, and the problem yeah. is we stopped doing them because we couldn't them, yeah. get any gearboxes. Oh, yeah, yeah. We just couldn't get any gearboxes. <coughs> we, we, I had like about 30 of them made and we, we sold them all in the end, but it yeah. was like the, the last like three or four was took a year. Yeah because people would say, I'm really interested in your adapter plate set up for an SR20, but I can't find the Z32 gearbox. I was yeah. like, yeah, man, that's where we're at. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, that's, that's but like, where we're that's, at. It's overkill for my car. Like, it only makes 330 yeah. horsepower, but oh well. I think the, the thing that's good about the Z32 gearbox is that it's, it shares a lot of the ratios with an SR20 box. It's just fucking bigger. Ratios, and then the inside is technically RB anyway. Yeah, so exactly, parts are yeah, interchangeable, yeah, yeah. except for it's a remote and shift. You, you've got, your shifters are remote shifters, yeah, but yeah. it's, um, I think, do you have an adapter? Yeah, it's it? Nigel yeah. Petrie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, thing, I don't know. I, just, I brought it off a mate of mine. It was in Nigel's car. And then he's like, yeah, just, if there's problems, just message Nigel. And I was like, it's yeah, Nigel, yeah. it's not gonna break. Yeah, yeah. Like, all the linkages work fine and it's yeah, perfect. Yeah. Now, but yeah, yeah, Z32 gearbox. That's attached to, is it single piece, multi-prop? Single, single piece, single piece prop. Nigel Petrie tail shaft. To a stock, diff? stock R200. It's got, sh it's shims. It's a shim diff? Shim diff. It's Ooh. been shim diff ever since I owned it. You see, like, shim diffs in the UK, like that, has, oh, does that still have a shim diff? So I, we originally shimmed Saul's R200, yeah, and it was perfect. Yep, it acted very similar to a welder, and I fucking loved that. That it was brilliant, consistent. Yeah, never let you down. I brought it two way when I brought the motor. Mm. I was like, well, the diff's gonna, the diff's gonna shit itself. Yeah. But probably because I have like 5.5 degrees of camber is why my diff doesn't blow up. 5.5 no, on the back? Yeah. There's no contact patch on the tyre really. The only, time, the only way I have grip is because it's so soft and I run tyre pressures at 12 psi hot. Yeah, yeah, so there's yeah, like, yeah. it's just tyre grip, that's it. There's whatever's, whatever's on the ground anyway. Yeah, well it works. I mean, that's the important thing. Oh, where are the draw? Yeah. Now what ratio diff is that? 4 one. Four one. Okay, yeah. so that's um, that's the Skyline Auto diff. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah. was an auto. Oh, it wasn't. My car was auto, but when I brought so it, it probably was potentially got its original diff. Though. Yeah, probably. And okay. when I pulled the NA motor out, it had it stopped at four hundred and three thousand kilometers on that chassis. It's literally the four hundred three thousand. It's literally the Land Cruiser of all S13s. It's been through everywhere. That's kilometers. Yeah, yeah. But still, that's wild. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I mean, I mean, if that was a UK car, it had been in the UK for any length of time, that would be you now a rust yeah. bucket. That would be a pile of fucking rot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have like snow and salty roads, so it's fine. Yeah, you get sun, so I guess the, the paint just blooms and becomes a pile of shit. <laughs> yeah. um, do you have a stereo in yours still? Or do you get? Nah, I went to Summonads to do drift demos, and it had two 15-inch subs in the back. <laughs> Good stereo, and they were like, it's not mounted properly, pull it out, I was like, whatever. Wow. So I pulled it out and put it in the bin right in front of them. Was no stereo, that's, anyway. That's quite sad. That's yeah, because it was cans. Management? Uh, Power FC. Power FC. Windows okay. 91. Windows edition. 91. <laughs> hey, if it works. This is the thing, like your car sounds it's like simple. the sort of thing that has just consistently worked for yeah. years. The, before the head gasket, I did Two power steering pumps and two gearboxes in six and a half years of driving. That's it. Wow. That's the only things that are broken. And you get through a lot of events in a year. I'm man. still like, on the same turbo gasket. <laughs> yeah. How many events do you do um, uh, like pre-COVID times? Oh, uh, probably like 10. 10 a year? 10 in Australia. Because yeah. usually, well, I suppose I've been lucky enough to travel to other stuff, but mm. yeah, 10, yeah. probably 10. Yeah. That's still a lot. That's like two years of drifting in the UK for yeah, you guys. Well, yeah, fuck it. Longer, three years probably. As of recent years, yeah. Yeah, me, I, I yeah probably 10. I've I've done two one, So far I've done one event in a year. Saul's done one event in yeah. four years. And it's the like, only time I haven't really drove is like last year because I wanted to do the new look, but I had to wait 11 months for my body kit to be made. 11 I months? I could have drove it, but we're all about the cars looking good, so why would I drive it looking shit? So I waited. I did one event. I no did... compromise. Yeah, exactly. I did one event. It was the Meltdown, which was a street carnage event that we yeah, did. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty much a mini halfway hangs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, well, cool. Um, that's um, that's your car. I'm yeah. looking at Saul's car. It's not, it's not your Saul's car. Saul's car looks great. It's Saul's car looks great. Um, that is Ty Jeffries, Ty Jeffries PS. And um, follow him on Instagram. Um, follow, him on, <laughs> follow him on fucking 
TikTok for fuck's sake. How many followers are you gonna? I don't wanna fucking know. Uh, it's a shocking amount. I don't know how that happens. What is that platform? It's it's terrifying. Uh, it's literally just shit that I have on my phone. No, I know, but like it idiots. just seems to snowball like yeah. a fucking. Yeah, like I posted a story of Saul's car and I checked before it was like at 450,000 views and it was up for 24 hours. <laughs> It's literally me. What walking. platform is this? I don't know. Hey, if it works, it works. Yep. Um, anyway, um, I've been Alex from Low Origin. Saul is also here. Yeah. Um, it looks like he's fucking half asleep. Staples <laughs> in his fucking head. And uh, I've been with Ty Jeffries, and we're going to be here all weekend, and we're going to try and have an amazing time and definitely not fall asleep at any yeah. point. Bye.